So, what's up with D&D? &D? I know everybody has been talking about D&D &D nowadays. I personally have been playing it for roughly around six years now. Yeah, roughly around six years. And due to the pandemic, most of us can't and won't play D&D &D in real life. And thus have turned to alternatives for what is the best way to play D&D. &D. And I am here to throw my hat into the ring for what is the best service. Because I know most people use one of two service for playing D&D, which is either Roll20 or D&D Beyond, and I personally do not use either of them when I DM. Uh, I play in a Roll20 campaign, and I think I know what is the actual best way to play D&D, at least online, and that is through Tabletop Simulator. I don't know how many of you have Tabletop Simulator, but Tabletop Simulator is, well, it's a game on Steam that simulates tabletop. So not only can you play D&D on it, you can play a bunch of other games on it, but that's not the point. The point is Tabletop Simulator has something that all these other ones don't. It has depth, it has 3D. You have models that are 3D on a board and you can take your hand and you can move them about. And it's really easy. I mean, you can take your hand and move them about on the other two services, but it's 3D in depth. Not only that, it's easy to import maps onto because they have a custom thing. Like you go make maps somewhere else, then import it in. I mean, you could do that with the other ones as well, but I find this one to be actually a lot more easier than the other two. Besides that, there's a whole lot of free models you can use that people are just straight up providing for well, anything you want to do for tabletop, which is a fun thing to have, because I've used a bunch of models that I never would have had a hand on in real life, and I mean, for Roll20, you can get a JPEG of anything you want, but it feels more real when it's actually 3D, something you can touch, well, not physically touch, but you can see depth, like, X, Y, and Z of it. I personally believe that Tabletop Simulator is the best service to play D&D on. And that was my unscripted ramblings about d and realized I've been shooting my foot this whole time because I've been like, oh, it has this special thing, and then I'm like, oh, the, the other tools are stuff like that. I mean, Tabletop Simulator costs roughly $15, you can get, get it on sale for eight. But it's like anything on Tabletop, so you can try other systems as well. I mean, you can try other systems and other things. God damn it, I just did it again. All right, stop shooting myself in the foot. I'm done here, shutting up. Go at some muscles.